Marpol Annex 5 Explored Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into maritime regulations that protect our oceans. Today's video focuses on Marpol Annex 5, one of the most significant international regulations aimed at preventing sea pollution caused by garbage from ships. Adopted under the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, MARPOL, Annex 5 addresses the complex issue of managing and controlling ship-generated waste. Marine debris, particularly plastics, is one of the greatest environmental challenges of our time. It affects marine life, ecosystems, and even human health. MARPOL Annex 5 aims to curb this problem by establishing strict rules on how ships manage their garbage, ensuring that our oceans remain clean and healthy. It affects marine life, ecosystems, and even human health. MARPOL Annex 5 aims to curb this problem by establishing strict rules on how ships manage their garbage, ensuring that our oceans remain clean and healthy. Adopted in 1988 and entering into force in December 1988, MARPOL Annex 5 deals specifically with the prevention of pollution by garbage from ships. It sets regulations for the disposal of different types of waste, categorizing garbage into various types such as plastics, food waste, paper, and metals. Annex 5 applies to all ships, from large container vessels and tankers to fishing vessels and pleasure craft. It's designed to reduce the amount of waste that ships release into the ocean, helping to mitigate the harm caused by human activities to marine ecosystems. But what are the rules governing these discharges? Under MARPOL Annex 5, ship-generated garbage is categorized into distinct groups, each with specific discharge regulations. The most crucial rule pertains to plastics. The discharge of all plastics into the sea is strictly prohibited. This includes synthetic ropes, fishing nets, plastic bags, and more. Plastic waste is particularly harmful because it doesn't biodegrade. Instead, it breaks down into microplastics that can be ingested by marine organisms, eventually entering the food chain. By banning the discharge of plastics, Annex 5 helps prevent the accumulation of this persistent pollutant in our oceans. Other types of garbage, such as food waste, paper products, and glass, have more lenient discharge requirements, but are still regulated based on proximity to the nearest land and the sensitivity of the marine environment. For example, food waste that has been ground into small particles can be discharged, but only when the ship is at least three nautical miles from the nearest land. For non-ground food waste, the minimum distance increases to 12 nautical miles. MARPOL Annex 5 designates certain regions as special areas, where the discharge restrictions are even more stringent due to the ecological vulnerability of these regions. These areas include the Mediterranean Sea, the Baltic Sea, the Red Sea, the Black Sea, and the Antarctic, among others. In special areas, the discharge of most types of garbage is prohibited entirely, except under exceptional circumstances. These regions are considered particularly sensitive to pollution due to factors such as the high concentration of marine traffic, unique ecosystems, or slow rates of degradation of waste. The Antarctic Special Area, for example, prohibits any discharge of garbage, with the exception of food waste that has been comminuted and ground, and only under specific conditions. This region's fragile ecosystems make it a priority for global e-compliance, with Annex 5 is achieved through a combination of onboard waste management practices, waste record keeping, and inspections by port state control. Ships are required to have a garbage management plan and maintain a garbage record book where all disposal and incineration activities are documented. Onboard, waste is segregated at the source. Different categories of waste are separated and either stored for disposal at port reception facilities or treated onboard, such as by incineration, where allowed. The use of proper signage and training helps crews comply with these practices ensuring waste is managed responsibly. Port State Control, PSC, plays a crucial role in enforcing Annex 5. PSC officers inspect ships to verify that they are following the garbage management plan and keeping accurate records. 
ships that fail to comply with the regulations can face fines, detention, and even legal action, depending on the severity of the violation. Without proper waste management, ships can contribute significantly to marine debris, which endangers marine life and ecosystems. Every year, thousands of tons of garbage enter the ocean, including plastics, fishing gear, and other waste that persists in the marine environment for decades. Marine animals, such as seabirds, turtles, and fish, are often the unintended victims of marine debris. They can become entangled in floating garbage or ingest plastic particles, which can lead to injury, illness, or even death. Over time, this can disrupt entire ecosystems, threatening biodiversity and food security for communities that depend on marine resources. By regulating how ships handle and dispose of garbage, Marpole Annex 5 is making a difference in reducing the amount of waste that ends up in our oceans. The prevention of plastic pollution, in particular, helps safeguard marine life and preserve the health of our oceans for future generations. Several success stories highlight the positive impact of Marpole Annex 5. For example, many modern cruise ships are now equipped with advanced waste segregation and incineration systems. Some companies have even committed to going plastic-free on their ships, showing that sustainability is becoming a priority in the shipping industry. Ports around the world are also playing their part by providing state-of-the-art garbage reception facilities where ships can offload their waste for proper treatment and disposal. This reduces the likelihood of ships discharging waste into the sea, especially in special areas. However, there are still challenges to overcome. Illegal dumping continues to be a problem in some regions, especially in remote areas where enforcement is more difficult. Some ships fail to comply with Annex 5 due to inadequate training, poor waste management infrastructure, or the high costs associated with waste disposal. Implementing Marpole Annex 5 requires the collaboration of multiple stakeholders. Shipping companies must invest in proper waste management systems and ensure their crews are trained to follow the regulations. Ports need to provide adequate reception facilities, and enforcement agencies must monitor compliance. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, through MARPOL, sets the global standards that help guide these efforts. Member states, environmental organizations, and the shipping industry work together to improve these standards and address the challenges of marine debris. As we look to the future, innovation in waste management technology will play a key role in enhancing the effectiveness of MARPOL Annex 5. Advances in waste treatment systems, such as more efficient incinerators and recycling technologies, will allow ships to manage their waste more sustainably. Some shipping companies are already leading the way by adopting zero-waste initiatives and reducing their reliance on single-use plastics. These efforts are not only helping them comply with Annex 5, but also setting new standards for environmental stewardship in the maritime industry. Thanks to Marpole Annex 5, the shipping industry is playing a vital role in the fight against marine pollution. By managing garbage responsibly and preventing waste from entering the ocean, ships help protect the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. Thank you for watching. If you find this video informative, Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on maritime regulations and environmental protection. Together, we can help ensure a cleaner, safer future for our seas. See you in the next video.